Alright guys, it's 3 p.m. in the day right now and it's a little later than I'd like to. I slept in quite a bit, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating for breakfast. Alright, so here's the final breakfast. Five eggs, 12 French toast sticks, glass of orange juice, a plate of fruits, and four packets of oatmeal, and some water, and I'm probably gonna eat like a banana with that too. So yeah, here we go. All right, it's about six o'clock right now. I let my meal digest. I was just laying in my bed, chilling, listening to some music, really focusing on those deadlifts. So here's what I'm gonna take pre-workout. You guys all know ESP, right? Phenomenal, great pre-workout. And recently one of my friends told me about this product they have, right? It's called Syndrex, I believe. It's also by Metabolic Nutrition, same company as ESP, right? And it's just another fat burner. That's what it's classified as. But it doesn't have any caffeine in it, but I don't know what it is about it. This lasts so long. You just feel so euphoric on it. You just feel really, really, really good. So my pre-workout stack for the day is going to be one of these, which I'm going to take right now, and two scoops of Ola Jack. So I'm going to take one of these right now, and when I actually get to the gym, when I start warming up, that's when I'm going to take my two scoops of Jack. I'm going to start sipping on it then because my hips are feeling a little bit tight today. They're not, it's not, not bad, not a big deal at all, but I just want to make sure I'm in the most optimal conditions possible. So I'm probably going to spend about 15 minutes warming up. That's when I'm going to start drinking this. All right, I took my Syndrex already. So here's the two scoops of Old Jack that I'm going to start sipping when I get there. All right, let's go. My gym bag in here? We uh, bodybuilder this week, powerlifter, um, tennis player. Yeah, NPC Whoa. this week, yeah. NPC, really? Yeah. Alright guys, as you saw, I failed my 585. Normally I'm used to really, really big jumps on the deadlift, so normally I would've went 495, and I would've went straight to 585, because that's what I normally do, I like big jumps. But today I decided to put 545 in between, and I feel like that 545 really fatigued me, took a lot of energy out. And another bigger reason I feel like I failed lifts is because on my first 585 attempt, I put my knees, I just had a crazy, crazy adrenaline rush. I was so focused on the music, yeah. and I was so jacked up, and I just went to call and I yanked it, right? So, me being all jacked up and like getting the music, I was just, I couldn't focus on my form that much. So my form just basically broke down right away, because I wasn't consciously thinking about it, I was just listening to my music. And, the second and, and then the second time, time, you just like, you didn't have it, because it was... Yeah, no, wait, no, the first time, yeah. Yeah, so as soon as I pulled, I had no, I barely had any tension in my posterior chain. My hips collapsed in my back around her, and I yeah. so much effort. And you wasted all the energy, yeah. yeah and that 545, you were, you got so pumped and amped, 
Like that that also threw you off too, I think. Yeah, on my second attempt, I tried 585 again, like you saw. And I tried like a Jesse Norris approach. I tried like going up the wall. The bomb, and I could see on my form, but I didn't have that energy. Uh, didn't have enough energy. So yeah, I didn't pull it, but yeah, I'm really, really disappointed. I'm like really pissed. So I mean I'm gonna do another four week training slide, but hopefully after that I pull it. So I don't know, we'll see. Right now I'm just gonna like get a pump. Just do like some bench, some back, nothing but take over. I'm just gonna have fun, so yeah, that's that. What's up guys? Um, I just got done my workout. I'm sitting in my car outside of the gym. Uh, Dill had to leave early so I couldn't really film some of the stuff that I did after my deadlifts. But yeah, basically after I failed my deadlifts, I just did a few sets of bench, some weighted pull-ups, some normal pull-ups, just a few little accessories, nothing special. It's like really late right now, I only had one meal so it's like 10.30 at night right now. So as soon as I get home, I'm gonna go straight to editing the 10,000 calorie challenge video and. I don't know, hopefully it's gonna be out tonight. I'm still like, I still feel my pre-workout, so I don't feel like I'm going to bed anytime soon. But yeah, I'm really disappointed. I failed at 585. I wanted it really, really, really bad. Like I said again, if I just went from 495 straight to 585 and actually focused on my form, I feel like I would have got it, but yeah, but I'm not really gonna make any excuses. I'll just hit it whenever I hit it, hopefully like in a few weeks or whatever. But yeah, I'm just really, really motivated going to this next training cycle. That 10,000 calorie challenge made me realize like, wow, if I really, really want to, I can get my calories in. Like I have to stop making excuses. So yes, yeah, so I'm just really motivated to start eating a lot of food now that I realize that I can actually do it if I really want to. So if I'm not eating enough food in a day, it's simply because I don't want it bad enough and I want it really bad right now. So I'm gonna go in this next four week training cycle. I wanna hit really, really big lifts at the end. I'm probably gonna do a mock meet video. And if I don't pull 585 by then, if for in five weeks, right, if I don't pull 585 for whatever reason, that means I didn't give it my all this whole training cycle. So, all right, I'm gonna come home, eat some food, edit the video, maybe take a day off, then I'm gonna restart the whole four week training cycle program. I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want it, by the way. I know I've, I've left it before, but yeah, I'll leave it again. So yeah, I'm gonna do this four week training cycle, and afterwards, I'm hitting 585 for a fact. <laughs> 